What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my ABX guide and skill rotation of how I score over 5 million with my tier 3 black widow in non-restriction ABX very easily. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and progress well on your gameplay of Marvel Future Fight, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you won't miss anything. As far as I'm concerned that there are not many free to play tier 3 characters that can achieve very high score in Extreme Alliance battle other than Captain Marvel. And of course Luna Snow is by far the best option for non-restriction Extreme Alliance battle day because she is dealing a lot of damage with all of her skill, especially with the CDP of Rage, but she is a premium character. So for free to play players might not necessarily own Luna Snow. But no worries, today I'm going to show you how I achieve 5 million score with my tier 3 Black Widow who is a totally free to play character. Everyone can obtain Black Widow easily and get her to tier 3 easily. So if you are not having Lunar Snow, you can have Black Widow as your second best option for this ABX non-restriction day. And of course, you can also use her in ABX Speed Female Hero Day which helps you to kill 2 birds with 1 stone. However, she can't achieve that high score in ABX Speed Female Hero Day because of the special effects of the Frost Beast. Okay, so now let's have a look on my Black Widow's build. My Black Widow current ranking is 4257 which is in top 5000 ranking around the world which is not bad I guess. And her uniform is a mythic level with some skill cooldown and ignore defense. And of course, she is rocking with a CTP of Rage. Without a CTP of Rage, she can't score that high. I have tested her with a CTP of Destruction before. The score is below 2 million if I'm not mistaken. So there's a huge difference. So if you want to use her for ABX, you need to give her a CTP of Rage and that's for sure. And then she has fully awakened power of Angry Hawk ISO set. And then rank 2 speed type enhancement which is not important for PvE game mode. And then for the Urus, all 5 Urus slot are fully amplified. And she has all the 5 and 6 star Urus and I think yes, 4 Odin's Blessing which is very decent. And then her overall stats are pretty solid as well. Max attack speed, max crit rate, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. While the physical attack is about 40,000 something, and of course there's a big help from my card set. Let me show you. As you can see, my card is having 36.1% all attack and 24.4% physical attack. Okay, so now let's have a look at her skill rotation. I know that some of you might be wondering if I'm using a CTP of Rage on my Black Widow, why would I still care about the skill rotation? Can't I just go in and spam all my skill? Yes, you can. Simply spamming the skill definitely won't help you to achieve 5 million score. Forget about that. You need proper skill rotation in order to achieve 5 million score, but of course with a CTP of Rage and of course with the right card state. Okay, so for skill rotation, it's pretty straightforward. First, you go with C3, 5, C4, C2. Then second round, you go with C3, 5, C4, T3 skill. Besides that, cancel her 4 skill at the right timing is really matter. Otherwise, you will just lose a lot of damage. So what you have to do is to proc on her 5th skill and wait it to go through the entire 5th skill animation and then you will see the helicopter fall down and explode. Once it explodes, you have to straight cancelling into her frost skill and you will see there is a lot of lightning around the frost beast and that is where you will see the score goes up very fast. Whereas if you cancel her frost skill at the wrong timing, which means you are either cancelling her frost skill too quickly or too late, you won't see there is any lightning damage around the frost beast which means you are just losing the damage. Okay, so let me show you a short clip of the entire skill rotation for the first round and second round. Then I will also show you the damage differences between you cancelling her force skill at the right timing and cancelling her force skill at the wrong timing so that you can understand better.
Okay guys, I hope this skill rotation helps you to get a better score. Furthermore, I'm using Nick Fury and Phil Coulson as a team up. Nick Fury for his leadership, 50% increase of all attack, and the support ability of Phil Coulson. And my Phil Coulson is equipped with a CDP of Insight, which would be a big boost to Black Widow's damage as well. So I hope you find this Black Widow ABS guy useful and I hope you enjoyed this video. Click a like if you enjoyed this video and I will be uploading my gameplay videos and free guide of Marvel Future Fight on a regular basis. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you will be received the notification when I upload those good stuff. And of course thank you for your support and thank you for watching and let's get into the game right now.